All right. So we have a 75 year old man with a long standing history of constipation who presents complaining of abdominal pain for the last two days. He is now experiencing abdominal distension, constipation, and inability to pass gas for the last 12 hours. On exam, his abdomen is distended and tympanitic to percussion. You obtain an upright abdominal x-ray as seen above. What is the most likely diagnosis? All right. So our answer choices are A, sequel volvulus, B, in a susception, C, irritable bowel syndrome, and D, sigmoid volvulus. This is a really good question. Uh, it is um, a high likelihood question to appear on a board exam. So let's go through it. If we look at the question itself, it's rather straightforward and we're asked to make the most likely diagnosis here, right? Because clinically, a patient like this comes in, uh, there may be, um, you know, we may not have a definitive diagnosis, let's say, in the emergency department. Uh, but for our board exam, uh, we're given enough information that uh, we can make the most likely diagnosis, and that's what's important here. So let's go through answer choices A, sequel volvulus. So sequel volvulus certainly is associated uh, with abdominal distension, abdominal pain, paucity of gas in the distal colon, and um, an x-ray that may look similar to what we see here. Now, uh, for those of you that cannot see the x-ray, uh, what we're seeing is a large bowel that is significantly distended, um, and it has almost like a bent inner tube appearance, okay? Now, a sequel volvulus, the classic x-ray finding, is something closer to a coffee bean appearance of the colon or, uh, or the cecum. Uh, or comma appearance, and that's not what we see here. Sometimes it's it's you could confuse uh, the appearances here, uh, but this is definitely more of a bent inner tube type appearance, and that's important to know. So we're going to cross out answer choice A, sequel volvulus here. And just one thing to note is the patient is seventy five years old, right? And that makes me. Uh, start thinking about what the answer choice is here when we combine that with abdominal distension and constipation and this x-ray. And we'll see why that's important shortly. Answer choice B, in a susception. Well, in a susception is really, uh, at least on the boards, it's going to be a disease process of uh, children. So let's cross that out. It is, of course, it's possible in adults, but very uncommon. Then we have irritable bowel syndrome. Well, that's that's more of a uh, condition that's associated with chronic alterations of bowel habits. You could certainly have abdominal pain. You could have diarrhea and constipation. A 75-year-old gentleman who uh, has this x-ray with abdominal distension and constipation uh, for a short-term onset, right, last 12 hours. Uh, on the board exam, uh, we're given that this is a, an acute process, okay? If we have an acute process, uh, then there's, it's, we're, we're certainly not going to, uh, it's last 12 hours here. So we're certainly not going to select irritable bowel syndrome as an answer choice because that's only a chronic process. So that leaves us with sigmoid volvulus. And whenever I think about sigmoid volvulus, I think about uh, older people who are maybe nursing home patients. They may be bed bound. They're associated, associated with chronic constipation. And uh, you see x-rays that look like this. The sigmoid colon uh, kind of twists on the mesentery, and you get this bent inner tube appearance. So I'm going to go with answer choice D, sigmoid volvulus. And sure enough, that is the correct.